Okay, listen up, kids. Today we're going to be doing an obstacle course. Now we're all going to take turns, all right? <laughs> What's so funny, Brian? <laughs> I think Susie should go first. <laughs> Brian, that is not called for. No, it's fine. I'll go first. Oh, Susie, you don't have to. I got this. I went first. Oh, oh yeah? Well, well watch this! I'm sorry, you'll never walk again. Oh, man! Ha <laughs> ha! His legs don't work no more! So, you going to the next party on Saturday? Yeah, I don't know, man. Last time I fell asleep at... Ah, oh, jeez, here comes fart in a jar, Martin. Aw, oh, come on, guys. It was one time, and it was back in fourth grade. See? Ah, oh, then why do you keep bringing the jar? Because I have to prove to you guys that it only happened the one time. But everyone keeps calling me fart in a jar, Martin. Look, the only reason people call you fart in a jar, Martin, is because you're always carrying around a fart in a jar, Martin. Ugh. Fart in a jar, Martin. It was one time in the fourth grade. We didn't even go to your elementary school, Martin. We would never have even known except that on the first day of freshman year, you told us that story and pulled out a five-year-old fart in a jar. If we didn't bring it up tomorrow, we'd never talk about it again. Oh, jeez, it was one time. <sighs> I lied. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. What do you have in there, William? <sighs> well, William, you better have enough to share with the whole class. Ah, <sighs> he's making learning fun. Okay, now, if one train leaves Boston for New York at 3 p.m. traveling 60 miles per hour, and another train leaves New York toward Boston at 4 p.m., traveling 40 miles per hour, then where will the two trains meet? Tommy? Uh. Now we set up our equations, okay, um, um, multiply our factors. Come on, Tommy, where will the trains meet? We don't have all day, Tommy. Come on. Solve it, Tommy. Solve it! Solve it, Tommy! Use your factors! Damn it, Tommy! Solve it! You didn't solve it fast enough, Tommy. You've killed us. You've killed us all, Tommy. Hey, teacher. When are we actually gonna use any of this? You? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Hey class, I'm gonna be your substitute teacher today. My name is Mr. Bitch. That's funny? Yep, that's how it's spelled and pronounced. Not Bick, not Bish. Mr. Bitch. I bet you think that's real funny, don't you, young man? <laughs> 
Mr. Bitch's wife won't even take his last name. <laughs> That's funny. Not at all, Mr. Bitch. Detention. Now, today, we're going to be talking about sexual education. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I got, I got a half-hour comedy special for you chuckleheads all about the penis and the vagina. That's funny. Well, wait for the punchline, because we're definitely going to be talking about the clitoris. The, uh, uh... Oh, that's funny. Wife won't take his last name. Mr. Bitch can't find a clit. What a loser. Oh, what a loser. It's right there, Mr. Bitch. Detention. Okay. All right, now, where were we? Oh, that's funny. Chalk stain on Mr. Bitch's big old butt, huh? You know what's even funnier? That ain't my butt. Mr. Bitch wears adult diapers. Ha, 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 Suspension. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mr. Bitch up there looking like a baby snowman. I wonder if he shitted in that diaper. Smells like he did. Pee you. That's funny. Speak up. Come on. That's funny. Is that funny? No. Oh, Mr. Funny Man, huh? Mr. Bitch can't even hold his own bladder. That's funny? You want to laugh, funny boy? Come on, laugh then. Laugh! There's no shame in that, Mr. Bitch. My uncle wears them too. Expelled! Uh, I'm not sure you can expel students. Prison! Oh, y'all think Mr. Big Butt Bitch is a joke, don't you? You, you think he's just a... That's funny? Jeez, uh, are you okay, Mr. Bitch? Detention! <laughs> wow, a lot of kids in detention today. Okay, watching you today is Mr. Bitch. That's funny! Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like a dork. Definitely a dork with that hat. And definitely a dork with that hair. Hey, what do you say we give it a wash? Uh, yeah, that should fix it. <laughs> no, please. Oh. <laughs> there you go, dork. Huh. Wow. And the final touches. Wow, thanks! You're welcome, dork. Hey, are you boys smoking in here? Oh shit, it's a teacher! Oh man, run away, quick! <laughs> Have a wonderful first day of school, dear. And make lots of friends. Love, Mom and Dad. P.S. We packed your favorite meal so you know how much we love you. Ah, oh, sweet, PB&J. Aw, oh, Lucky. What did your parents pack you, Carl? We have your parents, kid. If you ever want to see them again, bring $50,000 to the playground after school. If our demands aren't met in 24 hours, we'll make them wish you were never born. P.S. We left you a little present so you know we're serious. Ah, severed finger again. All right, class. Time to get on the bus so we can visit ancient Rome. Oh, we can't forget Liz. <laughs> class? What do you mean they're gone? I don't know what happened. One minute they were there, and then... Do you know what this means, Miss Frizzle? <gasps> oh, God. Those kids could be anywhere. Inside anyone. <gasps> at any point in time. No! <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is wonderful.
Oh, did you know you eat an average of one spider a night? <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's a total myth. Statistics like that are always made up. No way, bro. It's totally legit. Hey, Teach, get the molasses out of your ass and bring me that juice, will ya? You one mile an hour walking no running ass feet dragging turtle son of a bitch? Now, Rudy, you can't go your entire life insulting people like that. The hell I can't, you bitch ass toupee wearing fish eye two year college degree earning no wife or kids having must stain on his shirt, kindergarten teaching ass, diploma hand in dress wearing funny hat ass, first generation in your family to graduate college ass, love at first sight ass, three sugars, two creams, and a coffee, first date happy. Romantically compatible ass, independent woman, big titty, make me the happiest man in the world ass, love of my life ass, till death do us part, I do vowing, ring wearing, tiny embryonic ass, no fingerprints having, third trimester son of a beautiful ass, umbilical cord cutting, little dick having, bitch ass, no baseball catching, sumo cum laude, straight A's, making me proud ass, cats in the cradle ass, first grandchild ass, life begets life ass, diaper full of shit stinking, touching ass, surrounded by a loved one's ass wouldn't change a goddamn thing making me cry ass motherfucking ready for death ass me shit wow I, I can't believe he actually did it he was rude his whole life did you know my grandpa he called me a bitch. We're senile ass prune juice drinking ass mustard stain on his shirt. Yeah, graves already, sir. Great. Ooh. Disrespectful orange picking Whoa. ass grave defiling. Wait, uh, why are we here? We thought that this would be a great place to try out your birthday present! Oh man, sweet! Ha ha ha, wee! It's a time machine! I'm going back in time! <laughs> he loves it! Hello, Mr. Lincoln! Enjoy, Hello. son! Wee! This is awesome! Ha ha ha, yeah, wee! Ha <laughs> right. ha, yeah, Okay. Oh, fuck yeah! Dinosaurs, yeah! Which is why some believe Martin Luther King's Great March on Washington to be the turning point of... Jack! What? Does my lesson on civil rights bore you, Jack? Well, uh, yeah. <gasps> gasp. Everyone, gasp. I just don't see why we need to learn about this boring stuff. Why should I care? I'm like nine years old, give or take. I heard some stupid fat kid doesn't think he needs to learn history! Yeah, that's me. What are you gonna do about it? I can't fix the fat part, but I can make you less stupid. Come with me. Are you, like, a pedophile or something? I am the ghost of history's past! I'm here to show you the struggles toward equality throughout history! Until the wrongdoings of your ancestors make you feel really bad. Now, get in my van. Um, I, I don't know. There's candy inside. Yes! Behold the horrors of the ignorant past. Well, I don't know, it seems pretty nice. Look closer, Jack, right over there. Colored water 
fountain? Uh, like Kool-Aid? No, Jack! <clears throat> Not like Kool-Aid! It means the other water fountain is for whites only! Whites only? Like a dry cleaner? Uh, no, Jack! Not like a dry cleaner! It's a segregated community! A gated community? Do they have a golf course? Uh, no, Jack! Not a... See that guy? Is that me? From the future? That's your grandpa! Jesus fucking... Okay, okay, I can do this. Uh, okay, let me make this as simple as possible for you. Your grandfather is about to get on a bus to go pursue his dreams in college! Notice how everyone else on that bus is also white? Except for one person. Inequality never does. Why? Th that's... What? But that's not the worst part! Look! I can't wait to go to Penn State! These injustices will ripple through history, Jack! History? But that's now! I don't live in history! That doesn't affect me! Me, me, not the now me, but me... Yeah, the now me, but the... Shh. Shut up. To show you how it affects you, we need a different ghost. For I am the ghost of history's past. Ah, uh, this seems needlessly complicated. Don't blame me. I didn't make up the rules, fucking Charles Dickens. Is it back up yet? Let me check. Yep, it's back up. Finally. I swear, every time the Wi-Fi goes down like that, I can feel my blood pressure rising. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for your help, Badger Pepe. You're the best IT guy this school's ever had, even if your methods are a little... Alternative. Yeah, alternative. It brings me much peace to know that I could aid you in your time of need. But I must give you warning, for these troubles will eventually return. And when that time is upon you, you will need my guidance once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, which line are you? I hit page and then seven, right? Wait, do I hit conference and then the pound sign and then... Uh, these goddamn things. When the time comes, you can summon me by communing with Brother Fox. Whisper a secret into his ear and he will carry it with him across the plains. Under the watchful eyes of my ancestors, the twinkle of stars in the night sky, he will yelp your needs to Sister Hawk. She, upon the third night of the first full moon of the planting season, will bless the fields of corn with her screechings. Then she will grasp in her mighty talons a salmon from the great river and drop it at your feet. Thank the salmon for its sacrifice and reach into its mouth. For inside the salmon, you will find a USB drive with all the software patches and driver updates that you would need to reflash the custom firmware I've installed on your Wi-Fi router. Farewell! Or you can just turn it off and back on again a few times! The fuck was that? Well, <laughs> what? Why did you take me back to my school? I'm not taking you to your school! All right, boys and girls, settle down. Time for our math lesson. Dang, out of chalk. Aw, now we'll never know the answer. I know, kids. I wanted to know the answer, too. Well, what's going on there, ghost? Ah! Where's the other guy? He had to attend to important matters beyond. I am the ghost of history's present. <laughs> Why don't they have desks or chalk? <laughs> because they have no money. <laughs> They're critically underfunded. <laughs> desks. <laughs> Some of these kids don't even get dinner. <laughs> yeah, but they have textbooks, so... They're all outdated to the point of irrelevancy. <laughs> but, but they have, like, geography maps and stuff. It's from the 18th century. <laughs> but they've, they've got calculators. <laughs> they only go up to seven. <laughs> and look at their globes. <laughs> I wish our classroom wasn't so haunted. Everyone just stay away from the ghost now. Don't give it any trouble. Wow. They don't have any advantages to be educated like me. They have, like, 
the opposite of advantages. <laughs> I know! <laughs> and those disadvantages are sure to have lasting repercussions throughout their lives! <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we can change this, can't we, Ghost? What about the future? For that, we need a third ghost. Take me there! I've got a thing, actually. I'll call you a cab, though. You've got to help me! Sure thing, man. I am the ghost of history's future. I will show you histories that have yet to come, because they are in the future. I know how it works already. Just do the thing! Come on! All right, kid. It's over there. Jesus. Kids, I know times have been hard, but I've scrimped and I've saved, and this year is finally going to be the year. I'm going to get us our very first Christmas turkey. Hey, Daddy! I want to buy every turkey you have. Who's that? Is that my grandpa? What? No, man. We're in the future. Christ almighty. How do those other two ghosts even... Never mind. That's you, Jack. You in the future. Ah, man. I really let myself go. You've been on that course for a long time, Jack. What am I doing with all those turkeys? Please, sir. I was a bus driver and I just got out of prison. Can you spare any food? Anything at all? Ah! Sorry about that, sir. Merry Christmas. No! No! This can't be! Why do I need so many turkeys? Why do I buy so many turkeys? I mean, I'm up. I obviously don't need any more turkey. I already look pretty maxed out. Because you are a turkey. A jive one. You bought them not because you wanted them, but because you can. You privileged jerk. My name's Jack. I know what I said. What does, uh, pri privileged mean? It means you started higher up on the ladder than other people did. If life were a race, your start line was ahead of everyone else's. No! It's not fair! It's not fair! This is the worst future imaginable! Uh, I don't know about that. In my future, I became a dead-ass ghost. And it is not cool. What happens next? What's my future future? Well, shit, let's head over to the future and find out. Uh, how far in the future are we going? About an hour. Oh. Um... We're here, the future. <gasps> oh no! It looks like this guy died of too much privilege. Yep. What a shame. No, 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 no! I don't want this future, ghost! I want to go back! Please! No, no, no! Take me back! No, ghost, please! Please! Ah! I'll never eat again! Were you sleeping again? How many times do I have to tell you not to blah, 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 blah? Jack, where are you going? You there! What month is it? Why, well, it's Black History Month, sir. Then it's not too late. Don't worry, kids! I've got enough advantages and privileges for everyone! If you remain inside these walls, young one, you are merely relocating these items within their rightful home, and you have committed no crime. Once you cross this threshold, you will be as the coyote that has emptied the hen house without the farmer's permission. Uh, uh, what? You are stealing from the school, and as one charged with the sacred duty of protecting these halls, I cannot let you leave. Oh, come on! I, it's not stealing! I just, I just wanted to give kids in impoverished schools the stuff that we have too much of. The stuff they don't have. The stuff they deserve. I see. Let me tell you a story, Jack. When I was young like you, I did not have a school, for the world was my school. I did not have a teacher, for nature was my teacher. My parents left me in the woods on my birthday with only a cardboard box. It was there where Mother Earth took me in and raised me as her own. Brother Beaver taught me to read and write, and I learned arithmetic from Cousin Otter and Grandfather Armadillo. I studied the flow of the streams and the music of the wind. I also received a thorough yet potentially subjective education from the great spirit Mother Wikipedia though a citation may be needed. So you see, young one, knowledge does not come from having the most expensive supplies or technology. It comes from... Their globe is flat. Say no more. Thanks, Badger Pepe! Badger Pepe, 
What's going on? Did you have anything to do with this? I did, as did my animal friends. And though their actions may be upsetting to some, they have not acted in vain. For the fruits of those bears' labor will bear fruit. Will bear fruits for many a growing mind. You are fired! You hear me? You're fired, Pepe! Get out! Get out before I call the cops! Very well, I will go. I will go back to where education flows like a river, for I am from a strong and resilient people who, despite suffering great injustices, remain true to our hearts, our earth, and ourselves. I will carry on giving aid to those with burdens too big to carry on their own, out there in the endless stretches of Earth's majestic bounty. Remember my lessons well. Be kind, be patient, be giving, and properly eject your external storage media before unplugging to prevent data corruption. Farewell! Oh yeah. And I changed all of your passwords, so good luck getting into your email, assholes. The internet's down again! Ah! Karma Johnson. What? What the? I was sent here from the year 2036 because you made an insensitive joke in the break room of Walmart. I am here to prevent the man you become then by teaching you tolerance now. I am the Tolerator. Sent from the future? Wait, wait, I work at Walmart in 20 years? Why were you laying down just then? Were you making fun of the lazy Mexicans? That's racist. What? No, man. Are you making fun of the slanty-eyed Asian people? That's racist. Don't be racist. No, dude, I was just rubbing my eyes. Are you making fun of how Native Americans do this? That's racist. Wait for me. Dude, your new friend is freaking weird. Here. The 21st century is happening, Craig. Oh, that's racist. So you have a tiny penis just because you're white? I'm a child. What? So only people with penises use this bathroom? That's sexist. Don't be <laughs> sexist. <sighs> Jepper. Why don't you let that boy play with you? I don't think he can... Why aren't you playing with the normal children? Um, I can't walk. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. You can't let anyone do that. You can't. Look, Kana. Kana, do you see? He is playing kickball, Kana. He is walking. Do you see this, Kana? This is tolerance, Kana. Man, what's your deal? No one's being intolerant, we're just eating lunch. Jesus! Don't use the name of our Lord and Savior in vain. That's blasphemous. Don't be blasphemous. All right, what about this? Can I eat this? Is this somehow blasphemous or racist or homophobic? Not everyone can eat bread, you know. Don't be insensitive. You've been tolerated. What am I gonna eat now, man? I will escort you to the kitchen and select a nutritionally tolerant lunch. Hey, you can't be back here. Why? Because the kitchen is a place for a woman? That's sexist. 
Look, buddy, I've had about enough of you, all right? Your intolerance will not be tolerated. Wait, who is this? What? That's my friend, Rick. Sup? My mission is complete. I know now why you fry. I'm okay with this. Little help. You boys hungry? If you enjoyed this, be sure to visit Explosum.net for more.